Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com, and this is your weekly oracle card reading. And this week, I'm bringing back, by popular demand, the three-card reading. So for years, I always did a three-card reading, and then just recently I switched to doing one- and two-card readings. But a lot of people really like the three-card reading, so for this week, I'm going to do a three-card reading. But I might do a one-card reading next week. Okay. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> see what kind of a mood I'm in. Okay. Um, so, I'm using the uh, Earth Magic Oracle card. So I'll actually show you the, um, the cover of it. So I'm using the Earth Magic deck. And I'm going to start with um, the first card, which represents uh, Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. Okay, so we've got forest, um, and this is all about breath. This is about remembering to breathe. So as we enter the week, remember to give yourself room to breathe um, and spend some time connecting with your breath. We often totally forget how um, incredibly calming it is to just connect with our breath. I was actually thinking about this, it's funny this card has come up because I was thinking about this when I was in yoga this morning. I was lying there at the end of the class when you're kind of lying in meditation and at the beginning of the class I felt really stressed about things and my mind was going a mile a minute and my body was feeling stressed and then by the end of the class I felt totally relaxed and I think part of it was that I was connecting with my breath and taking deeper breaths. And I think a lot of us breathe pretty shallowly throughout the day. And if you can spend even like a minute or two minutes a day, like breathing deeply and really focusing on your breath, that will actually help you to feel so much calmer with things. Like, you know how when, if you're angry or you're upset about something, you stop and you, you know, take a few deep breaths before you <laughs> say something or do something. It's kind of, um, that's kind of what I'm trying to say, but doing that on sort of a, a larger scale. So not waiting until you're totally stressed out to breathe, but just spending some time uh, focusing on your breath and, and bringing that oxygen. Um, into your body. Um, so what this means for us throughout through the week, I think this is just sort of um, a message that, you know, Monday, Tuesday, as we enter the week, um, focus on the breath, focus on the present moment, and just focus on bringing oxygen into your body. And that's going to actually totally change your perspective of things and change how you deal with things. Okay, so as we move further into the week, for Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the Eagle card, and this is all about communion. And I'm trying to remember what um, what the write-up about this card says in the in the guidebook. Um, and I'm kind of drawing a blank about what this card means. <laughs> so if anyone else wants to share in the comment section, um, if they know what this card means, but I'm just going to go with the image here. I feel like... Um, in many ways, I feel like this card is about communicating with um, the spiritual side of ourselves. So communing and communicating with our soul and also with, you know, our spirit guides or, or guardian angels or whatever it is that you um, believe in. I feel like that is kind of the theme for this week is um, making that kind of connection with that deeper part of yourself. And... Um, I'm, I'm just so struck, I'm so drawn by this um, big circle of light, like right in the middle. And it almost seems like it's a sun that's sort of blocked out by cloud or something, but it's really, um, it's totally drawing my attention. I think it's like very, very powerful. Um, what I'm getting from it, it feels like it's sort of your, almost like the the light, the life essence that we have, like there are our soul. And I've, I've heard people say that we are, Without our bodies, we're like specks of light. And that this this picture actually kind of reminds me of that, that we're just sort of these balls of light or specks of light. Um, so I feel like this is about really getting in touch with your soul um, and seeing yourself as being more than just a body and more than just, you know, a physical being experiencing this life. Um, there's much more to you than that. And I think... Um, 
that sort of considering that and thinking about that can really put things in perspective for you and it can make certain stressful situations seem a whole lot less stressful when you put it in perspective like that just as um you know breathing um and allowing yourself to breathe can totally change your perspective on things and it will allow you to deal with stress much better and then as we get to the end of the week so the weekend we've got lake stillness i love this card i think this is a beautiful card um so i get the sense actually going into the week um, there might be more uh, stressful situations than we might be used to. You know, we might have to have some difficult conversations with people. We might need to make some decisions. Maybe there's a lot of stuff going on. But whatever it is, you're going to be able to get through it so much better if you remember to breathe and you just connect with, um, you know, that soul, eternal part of yourself, connect with your spirit guides, and spend time kind of connecting with that spiritual um, aspect of yourself. And then as we get to the weekend, we've got lake, which is about stillness. Um, and this to me just, <laughs> uh, it's kind of like, um, it's a soothing card and it's, it's like saying like, it's okay by the end of the week, like everything is peaceful again and everything's fine. And, um, this weekend I think would be a good weekend to simply reflect, um, you know, spend some time meditating, spend some time in nature, spend some time kind of creating stillness for yourself. Because I think it's in moments of stillness that, um, you know, true joy arises. It's not when we're busy, busy, busy and doing activities and stuff like that. In fact, I don't think I can think of a single time that I was like doing an activity or was really busy with something where I felt like total joy. It's usually kind of when you're not doing anything and it just kind of sneaks up on you this feeling of contentment and, and inner stillness um so i feel like this weekend is about um you know creating those moments of stillness and you know being able to kind of just reflect on things so i'm just going to take a, a step back from these cards and i'm just going to look to see if anything else jumps out at me And for some reason, nothing is jumping out except for the birds. There's some birds flying here in the forest card. And then there's um, the eagle. So I feel like that repeated symbol is about taking flight. I feel like this week is a week to take flight and maybe take action on some things that you've been wanting to do for a while. But it's also, I think, about set, like kind of getting your wings, setting yourself free and maybe coming to the realization that you're much freer than you thought you were. Um, and, and basically, yeah, taking flight, um, but also getting perspective because when, if you're flying, you're, you're rising above things and you can look down on things and see the big picture. You can get, um, a really amazing perspective that you don't really have when you're down on the ground, you know, in, in the day, day to day living. Um, so I feel like overall, this week is really about getting perspective and you can do that through, you know, meditation, focusing on your breath, bringing more, you know, breath work into your day-to-day -day practice, uh, your day-to-day -day life, you know, making that effort to communicate with spirit and creating those moments of stillness. I think all of those things are going to help give you um, perspective on everything that's going on for you right now and, and, and help you create kind of inner peace. Um, and I, I, I'm going to take my own advice this week <laughs> for a change. <laughs> so I just want to say um, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a wonderful week. And um, please feel free to, to offer your own interpretation of these cards in the comment section below. And um, if you're interested in learning more about tarot and oracle cards, you can check out my website, dailytarotgirl.com. And I've got lots of uh, free tarot spreads, um, uh, video tutorials, um, articles, all kinds of stuff there for you to check out. So once again, thanks so much for watching and have a lovely week.